what you did. Michael. What? Man. Don't tell them that. They don't even know. LA, goodbye, my biggest fans. They're on the ceiling, guys. There's nine of them. They always come around. And welcome aboard the world famous Jingle Cruise, where we are world famous for being famous around the world. My name is Skipper Megan. I'll be your holiday ho, ho, hostess. For the next 12 days in one silent night. Now, during my cruise, remain seated on your back pockets at all times. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs in the boat. Supervise your children. Children, supervise your parents. And remember, Santa's watching everyone. Now, we are starting our journey off in the Amazon rainforest, where it rains 365 days out of the year. And it snows never. Now, do you guys know why Santa loves the Amazon rainforest? It's because he loves rain, dear. Yeah, I love rain. Now, as you make your way through the jungle, keep your eye out for any lost packages. We were supposed to be getting a shipment in from Amazon, but they ended up shipping it to the Amazon. So if you guys see it anywhere, it's got to throughout the entire jungle. Please let me know. Please stop moving around, okay? Now we're on the left-hand side here. We have Inspiration Falls. Now, everyone always asks me, Skipper Megan, why do you call it Inspiration Falls? Well, you see, guys, the longer you stare at it, the more it inspires you to go. Deeper and deeper into the jungle, that is. Everybody say, ooh. Everyone say, ah. Very inspiring. Well, we're now in the Congo River. We're going to see how far we can go. Now, has anyone here seen the Jungle Book? Awesome. It's your lucky day. There's a special holiday edition in 3D right there on that podium. But I did organize a pygmy Christmas party for you guys. It's going to be loads of fun. All my friends are going to be there. It's a potluck. Oh, that's awkward. Nobody showed up. Just like my 16th birthday party. I guess they dashed off for some belated Christmas shopping, but I think I can see what I got for Christmas this year. Canoe. Canoe. All right, looks like we found the giant snake. Now, does anyone know what kind of snake this is? I'll give you a clue. It starts the letter P. It's plastic. Yeah, very good try, though. Now we're going to stop at our Christmas gift wrapping station. Now, this year we decided to change things up, and we hired gorillas to do the work for us. Now, some people might be questioning why gorillas. As you guys can see, their turnover rate is fantastic. Highly suggested for your gift wrapping needs. Now we're making our way into Africa onto the Nile River. Now the Nile River is the longest in the world at 4,000 Niles long. Yeah, it goes through Niles and Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you guys don't believe me, you're in denial. Now, if you're on the left-hand side, you'll see absolutely nothing. But on the right-hand side, you'll see an African bull elephant. Now, recently, he was told he's on the naughty list this year. And as you can see, he's in denial. He got pulled in his stocking. But we are going to jingle our way around this rock. Most people take it for granted. I think it's one of our boulder attractions, and it holds a lot of sedimentary value to me. I study rocks in college. That's not a joke. And we're entering the African belt where animals come together for a holiday drink. Like those really tall reindeer in the back. There's some shorter reindeer with horns. We have some tan reindeer, some striped reindeer. Such a variety. And then these lions invited a zebra over for a nice holiday feast. Yeah, zebra on the rocks. Blood rare. It's fine, guys. We're just going to leave him to rest in pieces. Oh my goodness, do you guys see this? You know, I told these guys they should never give a rhino a fruit cake, but it seems like they finally got the point in the end. That's my friend Hina in the front. Everybody say hi, Hina. Everybody say hi, Hina. Wow, that was so much better. Thank you, guys. I'm going to teach you guys about some jungle plants. If you look way up there for me, that's what we call a hibiscus. Now, uh, right there, that's a low viscous. Now, right along the water, that's what we call a sea viscous. Now, this is to see if you're paying attention. What's the one with the bark? Hibiscus. It's a tree. Very good. Yeah, it's just a tree. Well, we are now approaching Schweitzer Falls. Now, Schweitzer Falls got its name after the famous North Pole Explorer, Dr. Snow Falls. But don't worry too much about that one, guys. We will go over it later. You know, people always seem to ask me how I landed my job here at the world famous Jingle Cruise. And I think it's plain to see. Uh, I took a crash course and I've been winging it ever since. Okay, to be honest, guys, my career never really took off in the first place. And that's the tail end of that story. But looks like we found some hippos. You know, a fun fact about hippos in the wintertime, they wiggle their ears as a heating mechanism. And so they don't get hippothermia. Yeah. Just last week, these hippos sank six of our boats. What's your lucky day, guys? Only five of those were mine, so you're in really good hands. 
It looks like we haven't made it completely out of the woods yet, you can tell, because we're still surrounded by trees. But we're now making our way into Headhunter's territory, which I heard is a terrible place to be headed. Now on the right hand side of the boat, you will see my last crew. They were on Santa's naughty list. It looks like we have some special guests for a holiday party. We have Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and three little drummer boys. But as we make our way through the village, keep your eye out for an ambush. They usually attack. Oh no, Christmas carolers. Everybody get down, get down. Don't worry about looking stupid, guys. I'm already doing that for you. But if you find anything to throw it back, we're not allowed to keep it. Let them come in, even if it's permanent, you have to throw it back. Okay, they just keep coming back every year, speaking in other languages. I just don't understand. Okay, we made it. That was a close one. But now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the eighth wonder of the world. That's thousands of jungle bacteria. <laughs> You'll understand what I mean in 48 hours when it kicks in. But we are now in Cambodia on the Mekong River, and on the right-hand side, this shrine is said to represent the goddess of Shirley. I guess that makes this Shirley's temple. But we're gonna go inside and check it out. Now there could be treasure, there could be danger, but we are at the Walt Disney World during the holidays, so it's probably just another gift shop. Everyone keep your eyes open, and I'm gonna keep mine closed. You better watch out, and I better not cry. Here we go. everyone. Well, we are now entering the Indian Elephant Christmas Party. Now, feel free to take all the pictures you like, guys. It looks like they all have their trunks on today. Now, over on the left-hand side, we have Bertha. Now, Bertha is very smelly, and usually we shower her with gifts, but this year, we decided to give her the gift of showering. Looks like she loves it, right? And on the right-hand side is a very rare sighting. We have two baby elephants playing under a full moon. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so the elephants in front of me have been known to spray my boats. They usually like to spray the people that ended up on the naughty list this year. So let's see who gets wet. Everybody duck, 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 goose. I'm kidding. It was just dry humor, guys. You know, most people think it's water, but it's not. It's not. Okay, well, here are my favorite plants. Do we have any questions? See, we were going to sell plants in our gift shops, but no one ever bought me. All right, so left-hand side, we do have Trader Santa. Now, he is our head salesman here in the jungle. Lately, his sales have been shrinking, so he has a special for you guys. Three of his heads for just one of yours. Any takers? I mean, either way you slice it or dice it, you will come out ahead. No? No one? All right. As you guys can see, we are making our most dangerous approach or return to civilization. So I'd like to remind you guys to remain seated. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs in the boat. When you exit the boat, exit that same door you came into. Do not cross the center crate for me. It's really not a great idea. It made for two bad trips in one boat, and I'm only really responsible for that first one. But if you guys enjoyed your cruise today, my name has been Skipper Megan. I enjoyed having you guys. If you guys did not enjoy your cruise, then uh, consider me Elsa and just let it go. But after a cruise like that, I really only have one thing left to say, and I truly mean this from the bottom of my heart to the bottom of this very shallow, cocky colored boat. Get out. I'm sorry, was that rude? Please. Get out. Now make like Santa. Leave my presence. I want your hand and watch your step out.